Transaction routing is a feature that lets you distribute your transactions across multiple processors on your gateway account. By default, this feature is off, but you can turn it on. And then when you do, you want to set these monthly amounts to proportions of transactions you want to go through each processor. So I'm going to look at credit cards right now, and I can see I have them at zero right now for both, uh, which essentially means no load balancing. We're just going to use uh, whatever the default processor is. So that's set right here, the default processor. I can see the processor IDs and their names, so I can decide which one I want to go to. I can set a monthly amount. I can set a default processor. So if there's no load balancing or, or if the load balancing is equal for both, I can choose which one I want it to go to. I can see any max ticket amounts I have here. So individual transaction limits and overall monthly limit that I have. Both of these are unlimited, but you see a number here if you have a limit. And how much of this monthly amount have I processed already on each processor? But now that I have this on, let's set some amounts. So let's set 10,000 for each. Okay, so now I have 10,000 set on both of these processors. I'm gonna save it. And there we go. So the monthly amount for each of these is 10,000. So it's gonna to try to keep these even. So what it's gonna do is when a transaction comes in and you don't specify which processor you want it to go through, it's gonna look at the load balancing amounts and try to achieve the balance you've set. So in this 50-50 split effectively is what we've done here, it will see which one has less on it and let me put it on that one. It'll try to keep the amounts even as each transaction comes through. As more transactions come through, you'll see the transaction routing amount change. So these will go up until they hit 100%. Once a processor hits 100%, so once this hits 10,000, it'll try other processors first. If they're all at 100% or higher, then it'll go to the default processor from then on. This is a very common setup. If I wanted to have it, say, 100,000 to 10,000, now, for every $10 that runs through this one, $1 would run through this one. Uh, it's important to note that this will not split single transactions. So if I run a $100 transaction, it'll process on one processor or the other, but it will never process partially on one and partially on the other. It'll always be all on one. You can also do this for checks. And if you ever want to turn it off, just come back to this page, uncheck the box, and hit save.